Oh yeah, hear that line saying? Oh yeah. Oh, look at that, baby. Woo Get ready. We finna put some big ones in the boat. Hey everybody, I'm T-Roy. And we're out here on the Sabine River system this morning. Uh, it's fall. We got the first biggest cold front come through. And while most people are out getting ready for deer season and duck season, we're gonna take advantage today. We're gonna go out and catch some bass. Water's cooling down, it's dropping, and the fish are hungry. <clears throat> we're gonna get the boat ready and launch and uh, ease out and see if we can go catch a few. These fish will be feeding. The current's moving through here. If there's a floodgate up here that the water's coming out of the marsh, and this first stop, we ought to catch two or three right here, and then we're just gonna go down and hit these gates. And once the sun comes up, we're gonna change techniques and we're gonna slow down a little bit and start uh, doing some power fishing. The tip actually has a little fiberglass in it that, that helps you absorb the shock of the bite. I'm throwing a, a Lose a Tournament Pro 7 one to one Retrieve and I'm using a, this, this Strike King, uh, this is a Shark True Sexy Shad Strike King 1.5. If you look in the water, you can see there's, there's dark water mixed in with this muddy water and that tells me that there's current coming out of here. Look here, first cast. <laughs> it's just a little one, but it's a start. <clears throat> it always works out well whenever you plan something to happen and it happens. <laughs> Oh yeah, look at that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. Remember when I was a kid? Me and my dad, you know, my dad passed away a couple years ago and he taught me everything I know about fishing and about this marsh and gator hunting and everything. I was a little kid and my dad used to always tell me, someone don't stand right behind me. Okay, dad. I remember my dad was getting bites and he was on the front of the boat, so I kind of snuck up behind him. I was standing right behind him. Well, he reared back and set the hook and his elbow caught me right between the eyes and I was out. This is my six foot eight swamp stick. And I'm throwing a, a just a Texas rigged KVD Strike King finesse worm in watermelon red color. And I've got a one eighth ounce tungsten weight on a two aught Yamagatsu round bend hook. And whenever we're like right now, we made a few casts and we're not getting any more bites on this place and we know it's full of fish so I'm going to throw this a couple of times and see if there's still some down there and if we don't get a bite we're going to move to the next spot. Alright I think we milked this place out pretty good. We're going to make one more cast on the other side and we're going to get out of here. How about them Astros? We... There he is. Oh yeah. There he is. That's a good one. Oh yeah. There's another key, that's good. Oh yeah. See that? I say the word Astros and we hit a home run. Amazing. Well, we spent about four and a half hours this morning. Uh, got up 53, 54 degree weather. Still, no, no wind, sunny. Uh, water temperature in the low 60s. Uh, haven't been out here. First trip of the fall come out and we ended up catching 29 bass and uh, the biggest five went for about 14 pounds which is awesome and uh, you know it, it's, it's here's this time kind of in between hunting season in between winter uh, everybody's getting ready to go to the deer lease or the duck camp and you know I'm out here we didn't see another boat and it's been real peaceful uh, the, 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 the bite was just unbelievable right off the bat we caught 11 in a row on a square bill and uh, after that we just started hitting spots back and forth and, and kind of used memory and and uh, had a real good morning uh, it, it was one of those mornings where you've kind of forgot about how fun fishing was just to go out and catch fish without worrying about tournaments or practicing it, it's an awesome feeling and uh, that's what reelers is all about it's about having fun about going out and experiencing nature at its best uh, with a rod reel in your hand and turning that handle, that's why it's called Reelers. <laughs>